So, uh, Colin, tell us a little bit about the uh, the new chanter that you've developed. The chanter, uh, I've been working with uh, Brian Mohern at Ayrshire Bagpipes for many months on the chanter, and we felt that there was definitely room for a solo chanter, uh, which would be true in every respect in terms of, of the des design of it, where the holes are, the, the profile of it, uh, ease of playing, because it feels good in the fingers, a nice pitch, uh, and inexpensive. It's a, it's a plastic chanter, uh, and it's going to be freely available, uh, and I'm very, very happy with it. I mean, we've been working on it for a long time, and uh, this was the first time I played it tonight in, in Toronto, and uh, I feel it's it's a very very good chanter. And right. And what what kind of market are you after? The solo market or the band market or both? Or? Well, I think both definitely. I mean, the, the chanter pitches fairly high, and and the, the design of it. What what we've done with it is we've tried to make it accommodating to a vi wide variety of reeds. Some of the designs of the whole we've, of the holes we've got a sort of mixture of oval and, and round. They're not they're not uh, uh, deep oval, but they're they're not all the, they're not all round. And that's to try and get it to accommodate a wide variety of reeds. But I must say that the the, the, the reeds that we've used on the chanter and its design and uh, production have been predominantly mine.